All right, so today we're gonna to start an experiment with uh, growing some wine cap mushrooms. Um, I basically have some grain spawn that I made from a liquid culture I ordered online. And these grew on uh, whole oats from Tractor Supply. So I just sterilized the, the whole oats in the bag and then uh, inoculated it with the liquid culture and it's been growing since uh, June 7th. Today is July 18th. so. A little over uh, over a month, but um, this was ready to go probably a week or two ago. So um, it doesn't take that long. It takes about a month. So we're going to use this to inoculate our cocoa core media. Uh, the the substrate mix I used was a uh, 650 gram brick of cocoa core, uh, two quarts of vermiculite, one cup. Of, it says one cup of gypsum, but I ended up using uh, wood ash, and then four and a half quarts of uh, water um, and I'll put that up on the screen somewhere and try to use a couple of different uh, measurements so I got my media in here and then we're gonna be using these little Sterilite uh, shoe boxes we're just gonna do two this is gonna kind of be an experiment and then we're actually gonna uh, add some soil from the garden as well I might do one from garden soil and one from forest soil to see if one does better than the other uh, and then also just to see if this even works at all. So I originally intended to do like an outdoor mushroom bed with this stuff, um, but it's mid-July right now, so it's not the best time to do an outdoor bed. So we're going to just try it inside and see kind of what we get. Full of garden soil. We're gonna put the garden soil uh, in this one just to kind of get some of the bacteria in there. Now we're gonna do forest soil in this one. Just enough to yep. cover. Right, so we'll just close these up, uh, just let these inoculate for a few days, and uh, we'll just show you the progress as we go. So you also want to make sure you label them with the species and the date and then we're also going to label them with which one has the forest soil and which one has the garden soil. It'd probably be better to do the actual container just in case the lids get switched for whatever reason but uh, this will work for now. Eighteen. Yep. So just label them G for garden soil, WC for wine cap, 718 for the date. We have a little bit of spawn left over, so for the last part of this experiment, we're actually just going to stick this over in the garden. Well, we uh, grow pumpkins and tomatoes. And we'll see how it does yeah. over in a minute, but yeah. Then we just store them in like a little nice, cool, semi dark area to let them inoculate. If you want to watch more of our videos, like and subscribe. Bye.